Welcome everybody to another Clutch Club vlog. It is day three in Paris. We are going to the Louvre today, which is home of the Mona Lisa. You've seen the Mona Lisa. I've before. seen her once. How beautiful was she? She was the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. Gor most gorgeous woman he's ever seen. Little Kirsch, how are you doing today? Doing good. You're doing good. We are waiting for the Metro, which is basically a train. Our ride has arrived. Hey, thanks for hooking this up, dude. Okay, made a little bit of a mistake. We were going the wrong way, but luckily we only went like two stops. So now we need to go that way because we were going that way and that's the wrong way. Look at the side of that hot dog, little Kirsch. That thing is a monster compared to the ones we have in the United States. Okay, so I'm about to try snail for the first time in Paris. Let's see how this tastes. He's gonna try snails for the first time. All right, here we go. First time. What do you think? It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all? It's, it's like, like chicken. Ch everything tastes like chicken, right? <laughs> Seriously? Not as gross as you think. I'm keeping it simple. Or cheeseburger. Stain. Now, how do you make it drop it? There you go. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna try one, right? Why not? Little Kirsch, after much convincing, is gonna try a snail. All right, I'm gonna count down from three. You're, no. just, you're just gonna do it. Just do it quick. Just go. Fine. Use the knife right there. All right. <laughs> All right, grab that piece right there. Three, two. I made some time. Go. Go. Tastes fine, right? Yeah. He's gonna finish it off. Tastes fine, right? Tastes just like chicken or some other meat. It's like chicken nuggets. See? <laughs> told you. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is a brown pigeon, and that is the Arc de Triomphe again. Nice to see you, friend, from the first day. Now, I did not explain this the first day. This roundabout where all these people drive, it is a free-for-all. Look at this bus. You just go out there, and you drive where you want to drive. Like, people stop for you. There's no lights. It's just a free-for-all when it comes to the roundabout. So things have not been going our way. Our metro let us off one stop before the next train and that kind of has just screwed us over since. We then tried to find another, you know, underground to go to the next train. We had to walk a little bit. We were standing right on top of where it was telling us to go. No metro tunnel to be seen in sight. Everything is just, what is going on today? I know. <laughs> the only good thing is we saw the, uh, the arc. The arc, yes, it's still right there actually. You can see the pillar of it. But uh, yeah, everything since that metro made us get off, it's, it's just, all this rain. Yeah, and it started raining too. And then so we've been camped out in this McDonald's while I've been waiting for an Uber and hopefully this is the final solution. No more worries. So we can get to the loop. Yeah. We made it to the Louvre. The courtyard is right through there, I believe. And over there, it looks like some gardens. Now we're gonna be up with shop. Dustin's here, red shorts, sweater, and a few others. Here's the famous Louvre pyramids. You got a big one and two small ones on each side. That's a, that's a really cool architecture right there. So I don't know why that weird coming out of my mouth, but yeah. Now we're inside the glass pyramid. Dustin, hello. Yo. Dude, this glass pyramid is awesome. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think that's the coolest thing we're gonna see today. No. The Mona Lisa is here. Mona Lisa. Yes, and probably lots of other great artwork. Hello, you. Hello. How you doing? Cold. You're cold? Yes. How do you like being inside this glass pyramid? Well, finally I'm in here. It took you four hours to get here. I blame the train. Hey. I blame Scientology. We weren't late. We weren't you blame late. Scientology? Yes. One thing, we weren't late. Yeah, we weren't late. We invited them <laughs> on our time. Sierra, how are you? I'm doing amazing. How do you like uh, being inside now? You've seen the glass pyramid. Now we get to see Mona Lisa. Yes, yeah, I'm one so excited. Of, yeah, one of the most historic paintings. In History. Yeah, I've been wanting to see it for so long. <laughs> you think you could copy it like a self-portrait of yourself? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> a little birdie told me that you put uh, one of these maps in the back of Art's hood. I did. And he hasn't noticed. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I found something for a while. <laughs> it's, uh, it was not the man holding the map. I really like being inside this glass pyramid. Look at the French flag waving outside of the glass pyramid. Look at this, in this nice open sunlight. Don't trust me, it's good to get natural Don't light sweater. It's again. good to get natural light. Thank you, Justin. Fuck you. <laughs> Shorty, you get really angry? They told me I wasn't as beautiful as Mona Lisa, so I punched So you punched that glass? Yeah, yeah. well, Don't I mean, tell me that. sorry. I kind of want to see this, but uh, you're not as beautiful as the Mona Lisa. Sweater, want some, want some mama's milk? 
<laughs> no. We ended up being on the wrong floor for the Mona Lisa. I want my money back. You want your money back? You just said Art. Yeah, I know. Him and Art were arguing. Yeah. I want to know what this argument was about. He was following me for no apparent reason. Oh, I mean, yeah. He doesn't have to follow you everywhere you go. I like this room. It's made of cool rocks. Game of Thrones! Does that give you that kind of feel? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, dragons. I agree. Where's the dragon? I want to ride the dragon. The White Walkers. Yeah, they're all like Be behind, behind, behind this wall. You know, yeah. Oh, okay. Touch the wall, Sierra. Touch the wall. Do you feel anything? It feels like a wall. It feels like a wall. <laughs> so no, nothing special. Nah. How about this thing? This thing looks like it might have some sort of power. Another wall. This is where they would trap people for doing a bad. Don't. Oh. You did a bad. Get in the hole. I will be your tour guide today. Stay with me, everyone. Oh, thank you. I'm on this way, next. What? Show you something cool. When do we see the pretty lady? The pretty lady is when. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were in France, not ancient Egypt, dude. They just, they just shipped it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah they they must, made FedEx to cross the it's like a, world. Or that's crazy, dude. Do you know we were in Egypt now? We are. Yeah. Look at the Sphinx. Wow. <laughs> These are ancient hieroglyphics that it said one day there would be one named E5 that would make many errors in softball. <laughs> These are all the decapitated heads of people that used to play softball with us. Where did you guys go? I, I was worried sick. I almost lost my job. We need to keep moving now. Sorry. I, I just feel very independent. I think I can walk this place on my own sometimes. Mata please. <laughs> Got some ancient coins right here. A small gold one, that's like $10 million in today's money. $10 million. $10 million. This was the softball crew's old mascot, Fido the Lion. Unfortunately, we, uh, what's it called when you get them stuffed when they die? You know, oh, the, taxidermized. Yeah, we taxidermized him. <laughs> <Is> that, <laughs> how, how would you say it? I guess, I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> so this woman right here lost her arms because she lost in the 1,000th battle of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> and when you lose in the 1,000th battle, you must lose your arms, sweater. Lose your arms? That's, that's it's, it's every thousand battles, the arms are on the line. Uh -oh. I'm, on, so, I'm on 999 right now. Oh, who's your next opponent? You. Okay, we'll have that battle later. This is a self-portrait of me in about 30 years. This is actually a depiction of Shortsy as a young child. You did not love animals. Not as a child, but now I want to marry them. You want to marry them now. What changed your mind? The beaks. The beaks? The long beaks. I uh, long beaks. Uh, who can deny a long beak? Shortsy, you care a lot about your weight. Yes, I do. And so this is one of your many methods to maintain your weight, right? Uh, this is actually my great, 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 great stepfather. Yeah. Um, taught me his ways. You just tire yourself up. He was alive to teach you his ways? Yeah, he was. He lived to be 74,000 years old. Oh, wow. Very, very lucky man. <laughs> so, um, uh, just yeah. Just tire yourself I, up. I'm guessing the technique is if you're tied up, you can't grab food, can't so food, no. you're just going to starve and the weight will go down. It works. This is the definition of Gabon by the Antlers, huh, Sierra? It looks like, though. What's her name from the Hunger Games? From Katniss. Hunger Games? Oh, Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> <laughs> you drink? Weak. This is weak? Yeah. yeah. This is nothing for I you? I have like a double the size. Oh. Cisco. Yeah. Is this like a normal size beer can for you? Oh. Beer beer cup? That's like an appetizer drink. That's an appetizer. That, that, doesn't even get, that pisses me off when I'm thirsty. Like, I don't finish it. You're like, that's all you're going to give me? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Here's your great, great, great whatever stepfather. Yeah. This was when you were born and he was going to teach you your ways he of how to lose weight. He was whispering to me in my ears. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to tie you up one day. <laughs> You'll thank me. That's where Fireball <laughs> keeps the ears of anybody that tells about his, if he trusts you, he'll tell you everything. But if you spread the word, he cuts off your ear and he puts it in that box. I used to have three ears. This is the room of gods. Since we're in this room, does that make us gods? Heck yeah, we yeah. are. <laughs> I'm gonna be serious for a second now. This is actually really cool. We're going in the right direction to Mona. <laughs> an epic painting deserves an epic entrance like this. I have plenty of my paintings. Yeah, I know. This is, this is your whole hallway, huh? You painted everything in here. What inspired you for this one right here? Just a bunch of beautiful naked women. <laughs> Somebody's trying to steal your painting back there. Yeah. They're gonna catch them. <laughs> oh, you see, the alarm stopped. All right, here's one of your most historic paintings. The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. We all know you're the one that painted it, yeah. of course. The most beautiful woman oh, I've ever seen. Oh, I see it. You see my Woman Crush Wednesday? Yeah, your Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> She's in my sights. Have you gone to my Instagram? She's there. And there it is, the Mona Lisa. And who created it? This man right here. 
You have a great, great creative mind, sir. Uh, what can I say, you know? It's, it's not easy. How long did this one take you? Like 93 seconds. 93 seconds? That's your longest time ever? Yeah, it's usually like five seconds. Oh, wow. That's crazy to be this close to it, to be here. Did you say hi to Mona Lisa? I did. Did she say hi back? Oh, how rude. She smiled at you? She smiled at me. I think she likes you. She likes me. <laughs> we just saw Mona Lisa shop. I think I should ask her out? <laughs> I think you should. Hey, yeah, yeah. You know, hey Mona, besides me, you know, who's your favorite Dodger film softball player? <laughs> These are our old softball bats that we used to use, but we can't use them anymore because we started using them as weapons too. That's true. That's why a lot of our players aren't with us anymore. That's also true. <laughs> That's my bathtub right there. I feel like I'm about to get a stern talking to with this guy. I'm sorry. It's over? It's all over. What? No way. Whoa, the pyramid's upside down now. How'd that happen? Look, another mini arc. I really like this little area out here. Courtyard, well, courtyard away from the courtyard. That's where the Louvre is. Now we're just walking around this area, trying to get back to our Airbnb. What must have happened is Shortsy must have committed another error, but a real life error. Guys, you forgot me! It's been a long day three in Paris. The Louvre was basically all we did. This is our group right here me, Gabe, Art, Little Kirsch. And then we came back here and we all napped. We, I got about like two hours. And I got about five. One of Little Kirsch's top goals is to do what in Paris? To go to McDonald's. Why is that one of your top goals? Because going to McDonald's across the world is just something that everybody wants to do. Okay. okay. All right, Little Kirsch, your dreams are coming true. It's literally everything you imagine. Is it everything you thought it would be and more? Yeah. What you got? These, right? uh, what are those? Eiffel Towers. Oh, mini Eiffel Towers. No, it's the real one. Oh, no. Oh, it's the real Eiffel Tower? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm selling this for one dollar. Yeah. Alright, if you comment. I don't have dollars. Euros. I'm gonna steal this one. Stop. No, no. no. I spent no. a lot of money on those and I'm trying to resell them. I mean, <laughs> I'm selling them out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 abuse. Art, art, art. Hey, bro. What's down, Mona Lisa? I've already seen this, but this kid hasn't seen it, and this kid hasn't seen it. There it goes, little Kirsch. It's crazy. This view never, ever will get old. There it is, Gabe. Time to feed the art. Ah, uh, yes. You don't bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the plant now? Oh, Eat it, Gabe. No. Eat it. We just got to the Airbnb of Shortsy right here. Sierra, shop, Dustin. We got a little show for you. No, no, you're not jumping. What's that, Mona Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> it's the French version. <laughs> That is it for day three in Paris. We're coming towards the end of the trip, but it has been fun. And we're also going to London. And Gabe also left his Eiffel Towers. So I'm going to take those home for me. Nobody tell him. And like the video, subscribe. I'll see you next time.